Welcome back everyone for part three of our catalog walkthrough. So we're looking at the current new Close to My Heart Core Products book, which is good from August 2022 till July next year. And we already went to two thirds of the book. Um, I will link the videos below so you can catch up if in case you missed them. So today we were going through the rest of the book. Um, here is our watercolor pencils and watercolor paints. Uh, these tankless water, um, not tankless, <laughs> these water brushes, there are, um, have a tank in the back where you can fill your water in, which is really great. Um, the pencils, if you have never tried them, they're really easy to use, high quality, come in a variety of colors and they're really nice so you either use them with the water or you can use them without if you want to um, but uh, if you never tried this before this is a really great way to color in your projects no matter if you're a card maker or a scrapbooking um, doer so here we have our heat embossing products so you have our heat, heat embossing uh, powders you have your Versamark the sticky ink you have your embossing body uh, which contains um, a little powder in it so you go over your piece of paper first before you start um, stamping on it with the sticky ink and then put your powder down um, or you can use it if you have stickers from the sticker sheet that you don't want to stick flat on the paper page um, you sometimes want to raise it or you have a photo that goes behind it after the fact um, use this on them and it takes the stickiness off your heating gun and then we have um, three different size of um, pens that also contain the same um, glue ink um, which is nice for handwriting and embossing your own handwriting or filling in little gaps that might happen when you stamped then we have our tri-blend markers and they come in a variety of different colors lighter shades darker shakes there are um, in three parts so you get one pen and it already comes in a dark and a middle and a light version so you already have your three colors together that you use to blend um, when you're blending with these alcohol markers you um, kind of like try to uh, do an ombre effect from uh, light to dark or dark to light but you by using these different three shades of one color and you can see this here a little bit in the yellow and to make it just easier for you so you don't have to guess okay which color do i need you know that work together um they already come as a set so um if you never try them they're really great uh give it a try then we have our uh, metallic markers and we used to have a variety pack with different colors, but now we're um, giving you a three pen package. So in either gold, silver, or copper. So it comes in these three colors and you have a really thin, a medium, and a chisel uh, tip on each. So you get three different uh, sizes with them, which is great. Then new in the program is the Le Pen markers. So these are fine tip markers and they're great for journaling, um, doodling, as you can see here. This is all doodled with those pens. They're really fine, which makes it easy to write on small pieces of paper. And the nice thing is too, they come in a variety of different colors. Um, further, we have our white gel pens, which are awesome. If you like to write on black or dark cardstock, like dark blue, dark green, with a white pen these are great um, these come in a pack of three and there are three different sizes so again small medium and bigger one and they really are nice clean bright white on a dark surface excellent and then we have something that you might be familiar with these are the star um, dust gel pens and then the metallic gel pens they're really great they also work great on dark uh, cardstock um come in a different colors all in one pack so this is one package and then this is the other package then we have our shimmer brushes and if you remember from uh yesterday's 
walkthrough, we had the, the resist paper, you know, the white paper with the polka dots or the stripes or the stars, where I told you when you use ink on it, um, the um, stars and the dots will not take on the color. They stay white. Here, they used the paper, cut out the shapes, and then used our shimmer brushes and went over. So they have a nice shimmer to them, but also you can see where the uh, images um, do not take on the color, which is nice. And here you have a variety of different shimmer brushes we have these days. My absolute favorite still is the clear, uh, which is just works with everything. <laughs> and the colored ones are really pretty too. So um, they're a good accessory to have um, to embellish anything and um, they come in a variety of new colors so you can always see by this little flag with the N which colors are new. Then we have our Stickles glitter gel uh, glue. We have our pearls, liquid pearls. They also have a couple new colors in them. We have our Stickles glitter gel uh, which is the same as we had it in the past in the catalog. Distress Oxide inks. Super cool inks. Um, they are so smooth and they really nicely blend when you're trying with a um, blending tool to blend them together. Plus once you speckle some water on them the water reacts with the ink and that's when you get this oxide um, ink um, impression. There are a couple new colors in here too. We have a new shimmer spray. comes in red, blue and black. And then we have our glossy sprays. We're down to turquoise, the white. The white is excellent for snow um, speckles. And then we have the gold. And then we have a couple new tools. So the spatulas, they are not new to the program because you need them for your texture paste or the, the um, gel glitter that we had earlier. But this one is new, so blending brushes. And these are not foam tips they're regular fine really fine white brushes and they make blending with ink super easy so you can use these on our regular inks you can use them with the oxide inks and you will be amazed how nice and smooth um, the blending will be really great you can wash them with just some warm water let them thoroughly dry um, but um, they are really great to have so that's one of the new tools. Uh, another new item we have in the catalog, it's called a stamping foam and it's from Ranger, but um, I'm not going into detail how this works. We will get to this on a later point uh, in the catalog or in the time when they are available right now. So right now they're on back order. We have the mini ink blending tool. So these are those little holders where you have those flat pads where you normally go into your ink or your distress ink to blend. But I know sometimes it's kind of hard to control and you get these harsh lines. So um, we've been switching to for the refills to those dome shaped ones, which are really nice because they give you this round surface, which makes it easier to blend and not getting these harsh lines when you by accident dab in it and then you see where you started with the tool. So these are new, they fit on those um the same size so they're really great and then we have our texture paste texture paste then we have new stencils 12 by 12. um so this one here it looks a little bit funky but uh, if you look closely you can see that these uh, u-shapes are four different sizes and there are markers on the sh on the stencil to line them up so this is the outer one then this one nestles inside this one this one goes inside this one and then this one goes inside this one. So you can actually make a rainbow background with different colors. Flowers, we have your ABCs. Um, this is a great one too. So these three together, so you can create your own embryo, um, ombre effect <laughs> with the colors. Lighter color for the big one, medium for the middle, and a darker one for the bottom. If you combine this Stem, uh, stencil with this one, put them on top of each other, uh, you actually get a wood grain um, explorer phrase 
um, stenciled on paper which is cool so you can, can mix and match them and these ones are so these two belong together that's the inside of the um, trees so best way I would do it I would just um, cut them apart because it makes it easier to handle and you know since there are different um, themes um, and you could overlay them easier so these are our 12 by 12 stencils and then we have stencils for our cards so these are five by six and a quarter so they fit our regular card sizes perfectly you have the writing the petals and the bubbles and then you have these three in one pack and then we have the slimline cards fronts too they're made for our uh, slimline cards and then each of them you can also have a bundle where you can get all six of them then we have our stamping tool so naturally our stamp blocks uh, acrylic blocks to use with our stamps they're just great they sit perfectly in my hands i like the weight and they're easy to handle so this is one thing i don't uh, skip and you always want to make sure that your stamp pretty much is the size of your block and not too big or too small um there are pros and cons for both but that's the ideal thing to do we have a starter set with a couple of blocks to begin with we have a stamp starter set which contains a block uh, a chamois and intense black and um yeah that's it these three things so that's the starter set for stamping uh, we have our chamois so these uh, guys you just they're pretty stiff when they get to you you have to work them a little bit under water until they are soaked up the water so then they're just damp and you use them to clean your stems and once you're done you just rinse them you don't have anything special to do with them once they get uh, dry they get stiff again so you just have to do it all over um, I just cut mine down um, here's an old one that I used years ago <laughs> it's pink actually or was pink um, you can see, but this color is not coming up. It's just stained, but um, it still works fine. We have a stammy, uh, a chamois um, case now. So your chamois finds a place to sit and not on your project. That's nice. Intense black ink is perfect for the really crisp black image that you want to stamp or if you want to use uh, the markers, the alcohol markers. So this is a great ink to use. It is a little bit more intense on your stem so when you clean your stem you might st see a little um black staying on the stem which is not a bad thing it doesn't stain uh, it doesn't come off or it doesn't hurt the stem it just stains it a little bit but um just fair warning so with this one and then we have our archival ink we have the refill and then we have our stamp cleaner which you can use in between um the chamois use and once in a while just a cleaner then we have our different cutting um, uh, trimmers so the paper trimmers so I love my rail trimmer now because it, it is super smooth it gives you a nice straight cut and when you look at this line right here um, this is actually the cutting line so it, it makes it really easy to line up paper to get an exact cut while the other one um, the plastic sometimes gives a little bit so if you push too hard let's say here on the sheet see how it moves or even when you cut and you move it over a little just a little bit what happens is you don't get a straight line you might get a little kink in your paper or it's you know um, so I still use it but I prefer the rail aluminum rail uh, cutter by now this one has the that um, metal line in the middle too the wire um, to show you where the middle is but <laughs> it's not very exact sometimes so that's one reason why I switched to this one this one needs the special u-shaped um, trimmer blades while this one has the regular ones or you can get a combo pack with a cutter and an embossing blade for this one photo trimmer it's a guillotine trimmer it's awesome to cut your photos to size nice and sharp so um and small easy to handle 
um, we have our scissors. Both of these scissors are great. They have a super pointy tip, uh, sharp. So always make sure you put your um, guard on top when you're not using them because if they fall on the tip, it might break or bend. Um, the difference between the two, they're size-wise the same. The difference between the two is the black one has a coating on it, so it's non-stick and it really is. I mean, I cut my um, foam tape, which is super sticky sometimes and um, there's nothing that sticks to it it comes off easy and they're really great so if you have to invest in a good pair of scissors um, I would go with this one because it kind of serves two purposes plus if you do a lot of fuzzy cutting these are really sharp and easy to use um, give it a try our Versa Mart mat just a great tool uh, to half so I use mine a lot to line up my 12 by 12 paper you have a grid on here which makes it easy to read things and line up things and if you flip it over you have the spongy background which is great for stamping so you don't need to use the plastic pouches that come with our sets then we have our all-purpose mat which is this one here it's heat resistant um, you can, if you get adhesive on, you just rub it off. You can use um, your paints, you can use inks on it to smudge. You can do a lot of things. The only thing you don't want to do is use a sharp tool to it. So scissors, um, knives, it's a no-go on this mat. It will um, immediately cut or bend. So bending is another thing it doesn't like. Um, so these are the two things. This is a magnetic cutting mat for our um, die cutting machine. And then the newest tool that we have is this T ruler, which is awesome. So this T ruler actually is held together by two super strong magnets right here. It snaps automatically in place. And when you take it apart, you're left with a ruler with two rulers. And this one actually has the holes here to put faux stitching in your paper. We used to have those in the past and they were really fun to use. So um, this is a nice um, new tool. I don't have it here because it's not in the office yet. Um, it's still on back order. So we're waiting for this to come in. But once it comes in, this is one of the things um, I really like to have because um, T-Ruler, great thing to line up things. Piercing tool. Here we have another little gadget that makes it easier if you have stuff on um, stick down on your um, project and you want to lift it up you go underneath with a spatula it's flexible it's plastic and it really nicely helps you to lift things up it's got a little point here too but again it's plastic so it doesn't scratch anything it doesn't stain your paper or anything so it's really nice to have um, stylus and this is our picker upper sticker so these come in a pack of two and they're pretty long I use my craft knife and knife and just cut them in half and then I use the pencil sharpener and you sharp one side, not to a pointy tip, just to a flat tip. And what it does is it, it reveals that waxy inside, which makes it easy to pick up um, sequins or those little rhinestones or little pebbles and stuff and put them right in place where you need them. Even paper, you can pick up little paper pieces. Tweezers, hey, you can't go without tweezers. They're great. And then we have sponges and all sponge daubers. Um, they were always in the catalog, so that's nothing new. Then we have our adhesive, so we have our ultra thin um, dots. We have 1 8, 3 16, and 3 8. So these are the three sizes of glue dots we have. Um, our foam tape comes in a roll, in a white and a small. So there are two rolls in each pack, and one is the uh, thin foam tape, and the other one is a thicker one. So depending on the project i usually like to use the thin one if i really need a thicker piece i can always double it up but um these are great same as with the foam dots so they come also in a thicker version and in a thinner version so they're two millimeters or one millimeter then we have our um, mono air adhesive so this one is refillable so this is the main the case you you keep and then you just um switch cartridges out once this is empty this one is a one-time um, adhesive runner that cannot be refilled. Then we have our Tombow liquid glues. Um, 
I have both, but I mostly use this one here, which is has a fine tip and a chisel. They both do. This is, comes out white, but it dries clear. And it's really great if I do um, paper boxes and stuff, little gift things. It just takes seconds. You still have some wiggle room, but after a couple of seconds, it adheres and bonds really quickly. So it's nice. There's a glue stick, red sticky tape. Um, this is a must have too. It's a rubber eraser. So whenever you get adhesive on your projects, um, if it's tape runner, if it's um, any other adhesive that's dry, you can start. If it's liquid adhesive, wait till it's dry and then go take your eraser and carefully with circle motion, uh, keep going over the area and it will pick up the adhesive. You can see this one is well loved and used. Um, and you get these little sticky pebbles here that you just pick up and toss. If it gets too glued up, I just cut my corners a little bit, but um, this will remove any adhesive. You just have to be careful. And like I said, in circle motion, pick it up. Liquid glass, a great adhesive as well. Super strong. It's clear and it will dry clear. Bonds together pretty much everything. And then this is the fine tip that goes on top of it. And then this is new. We have masking tape now, which is a one inch and a four inch width. And um, I haven't tried this yet, so um, I don't know how sticky it is, but um, it looked pretty good when they showed it to us. So we will see um, for masking off when you're stamping. Main thing is that the ink doesn't bleed through the paper. And then last but not least, adhesive sheet. So this one is already a 12 by 12 sheet. There are five in a pack. And they have adhesive on both sides so if you have to let's say you have a strip that you have to run through your Cricut or your die cutting machine with um, a very delicate design put your peel that top paper off put your paper on top of the sticker uh, rub it down run it through your machine and then um, when you peel it off it already has adhesive on the back so you can make your own stickers with those then we have our workspace wonders and there's no change in that one nice and sturdy um blocks so you can mix and match and set up your own setting depending on what you need um they fit nicely on top they stack nicely on top so i have like three of those cubes sitting on top like here and i can easily put another two on there without having to fear that the tower is falling over um they come individually or you can have them in a bundle but um like i said it's just depending on what you need is how much workspace you have they work great then we have our organizer boxes and there are two things that are new so these two are old friends the mini box and then the regular one we have our craft jars we have our small and big containers this is new a photo organizer uh, it um, has 16 removable snap-in boxes and they hold four by six pictures and you can get up to a hundred photos in this container and it's nice has a nice closure so really nice product and we have um, a paper strip saver so this one has compartments three smaller compartments and one wider and there are 10 clear protectors in one package and it just helps you to keep you know those sub strips and all these little things a little bit more organized and then we have our envelopes that haven't hasn't changed over the years then we have digital art um and the seasonal catalog you know that the art collector digital art collections all come as svg files um, so you can use them on any die cutting machine, um, Cricut, Brothers, Silhouette, whatever works or can use an SVG file. Same as with these. These are um, meant for heat transfer for vinyl and there's a couple. Um, here's the artwork and then here we have the metallic glitter or the regular paper or vinyl for heat transfer again. Okay, and now we're with our 
albums so we have all my legacy albums they still come in um the d-ring album or the postponed album version and you can see the colors right here so there's limited colors but um they're pretty neutral colors we have the extenders we have um the label holders which are great because they just tack on the back here and you can put you know the vacation or the date anything on there and then we have the everyday life albums which come in 12 by 12 version which right now we only have the julep the green then we have eight and a half by 11 and they come in ballerina and charcoal which is gray and pink and then we have the six by eight everyday life albums um they come in a variety of colors we also have six by six and the white one is the four by four and these are all d rings and then we have our page protectors so um we have the pocket page protectors 12 by 12 we also have the regular ones which are top loaded or side loaded and then we have the ones for the um, post bond um these ones also come in a value pack so it's listed underneath neath here so while normally the package size is 10 in a package you can get a value pack for 20 with 25 in it so it's in the details down here then we have our eight and a half in a six by eight six by eight in compartments and then we have the six by six page protectors and then we come to what is always a big ticket item sell item for any money on a crop and if you have never tried those before it's usually an eye opener so we have two different ways of adding extra photos to your layouts into your album one is by adding um, a partial page protector in between their pocket plus and they come in different sizes so you have like um, for a three six by four um, pictures um, they're like horizontal these are two vertical four by six then we have the three by fours and the four by four is a new version and the nice thing is so um, they give you extra like this one here would give you six extra um, pictures to put in between two pages sometimes we have more paid pictures but it's not enough to make an extra new double page layout or you don't want to so these fill in nicely and really work nice with the big um, page protectors and you it's also there's one specifically made for the strap bound albums as well the other way to add extra pictures to your pages is to use our famous flip flaps and they come in different sizes they have a strong adhesive on one side and um, you can add them directly to your page then you just have to cut your page protector to pull it through or the easiest way is to just put your page into the page protector and then adhere your flip flap right on top and that makes it less a nice interactive um, little extra and you can store more pictures on a page then we have our new colors so the new color of the year is called melon you can see it's a nice melony color and actually everything that comes with it as you have seen in the past when we went through the book it showed you already you know we have trim we have shimmer trim we have the sequins the shimmer brushes all the embellishments and it's just a pretty color and then we have our new paper ink and re inker collection and i just gonna point out the new color so we have melon we have periwinkle we have mist we have seabrook we have um, pine and we have honey butter so these are the six new colors the rest are colors that we had before and um, if you order a cardstock package these packages have 24 sheets in them if you don't need that much there's always um, a custom version so you have 12 sheets or 24 sheets and the only thing you have to have two of one color together so let's say you have six sheet uh, um, 12 sheets and you want um, you can have 
six different colors and you get two sheets of each color or you say oh I just need you know two of these but then I want um, eight of this one no problem you can mix and match as long as you have two of one color always together and these help you to combine um, different cardstock colors otherwise with all the paper um, collections we have there's always a cardstock combo package that comes with it which already has colors that work with the paper so these are always a nice um, investment too and um, that is pretty much it for our annual book uh, we have a new stamp for operation smile which is really a pretty stamp this is this one here if you're not familiar with operation smile um, Close to my heart is supporting this cause for years now. It's a nonprofit organization that provides surgeries uh, to repair cleft lips and pellets for children around the world. And if you order this set, $7 of each set goes directly to um, Operation Smile. And with every order, you also always get the chance to donate extra or round up uh, the amount um, and donate money to the uh, Operation Smile um, initiative. This should be closing our walkthrough. I hope it was not too long um, and you saw a few new things. Like I said, I have quite a few new um, stems coming and other things that are on their way. But I wanted to give you a little peek of what is coming and sometimes you don't see everything when you looking through the catalog and um, you know some things are not clear so I hope this clears up um, there's one little thing so as everybody knows prices are going up everywhere so there is a slight increase in prices and some products in the catalog from that from um, this year to the new year or from last year to this year and um, close to my heart the last time they raised prices was in 2018 so four years down the road I think it's um, fair to say okay we, we we have been profiting from a good pricing uh, for years now so most stamp sets most paper packs went up about a dollar I know the albums are a little bit higher some items stayed the same ink pads and cardstock also went up a dollar which overall is I think a fair increase in pricing um, shipping is also going up by a dollar so instead of $7.95 a minimum it's $8.95 but this is still way cheaper than if you would go and send something through the mail and you go to the mail uh, post office um, because I have done this in the past and I can't they usually can't beat the $8.95 in this case now so um, just be aware um, I think that's pretty much it. If you're living in Colorado, and I know I have a couple customers there, um, your government, your state uh, started a new initiative. So they have a flat delivery fee if anything that is brought into Colorado delivered to your house, which is 27 cents. Um, this will be added to your shipping fees if you're living in Colorado or have anything delivered to Colorado. Just a fair warning. It's not a major thing, but uh, you know, in case you wonder. Um, I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough. Give me a thumbs up if you like the videos. Um, if you have any questions, please comment below. And I hope I see you around for crafting and I will show you more projects and things that I have done with um, the new papers and everything in a bit. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.